you people of YouTube, thank you for joining us today on this sunny Charleston day. Uh, I am giddy with excitement because uh, we got some more of our new product line, the Nobo. Uh, I really enjoy these things. It's been my new favorite uh, lately, all the cool little features. Uh, today, this is the 2024 19, uh, Nobo 19.8. So stick with us and we'll go through it. So thank you for sticking around for those 30 seconds. Um, so on the front, uh, you can see they kind of kept a minimalist design with propane and all of that stuff, but uh, it also has a ton of awesome features. So uh, the tongue jack is great, uh, the auto, uh, you got a cool little propane cover, you got a nice little, show you, uh, holder for your seven pin, uh, which is great. It's got a great battery disconnect. You got your standard uh, battery tray there, but it will, you know, hold two or three uh, batteries depending on the size and all of that good stuff. I believe it, it has the lithium conversion in it, uh, which is nice. So if you wanted to put lithium batteries on here, it'll just, it automatically detects that and it's good to go. Uh, you can also see it has a nice uh, top fiberglass front rock guard. Um, well, this isn't really rock guard, this is a rock guard. Uh, but the fiberglass front is really nice, it's very durable. Uh, you also got this nice uh, big window to let in tons of natural light. Uh, you can see the, the AC. Super dark tent too. Yeah, super dark tent, which is really great, especially for, you know, southern camping. 100%. Um, oh, you can see the, uh, the AC is running great, you got a little bit of drip. Um, but over on this side, you got this great pass-through storage. So it also comes with your goodies, as in classic, uh, or at least the Nobos that we've been getting, have the um, the central vacuum cleaner, which is really fantastic with like the, uh, the little sweep, and I'll show you that when we go inside. Uh, but it comes with outside sprayer nose, uh, you got, or did I say nose? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's the end of the day, uh, and it's hot. So outside sprayer hose, you got uh, a grill, uh, which is pretty great looks like a bunch of other stuff so I'll try to examine that when we go over to the other side uh, you also got this uh, nice slide on this side uh, you got your six gallon DSI propane or yeah electric propane water heater uh, your potable water and your city connection uh, you also have easy fresh point drain and low point drain right there too for winterizing and when you're done camping yes. um, let's see, is there any other you got your dump station on the back you got these cool Goodyear uh, Wrangler. Yeah, those are fancy. Right? Super fancy. It looks great with the tire shine on there too. Yeah, it does. Um, you got standard cable satellite and more storage here in the back. Oh, that's so, a bigger compartment than I gave it credit for initially. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and Jeff will be adding commentary oh, in the background there. Good or bad. Yeah, good or bad. Uh, my name's Nate. I don't know if I said that. But if you've seen the channel, you kind of know who we are at this point. Um, yeah, we'll continue around the back. Um, so we've got this great, great ladder. Uh, it's pre-wired for your Furion backup camera. You got a nice full-size spare tire, which is wonderful. Um, you got your black tank flush, uh, standard four-inch bumper, that's nothing new. Uh, over here, you got a great full-size awning. Uh, front and back to cover the door and all of that good stuff. Uh, here's your port for the sprayer hose. Uh, vent for furnace. This is where your grill goes so you can hang your grill out here. Which is convenient because they put the LP quick connect for your grill right there. And think of it all. Everything. Uh, actually while we're here too, I don't know if you can get the camera in there, but it has the Curtis independent suspension. Oh, which yeah. is uh, one of the things that I'm super giddy about. Uh, it is a smooth ride, that is for sure. You can go off grid, off the beaten path, and, and no problems. Uh, it also comes with the Lion Head special tire and wheel warranty. No excuse is guaranteed. Uh, I don't know if they have the sticker, but essentially one year is no excuses. Two years, you have roadside assistance. It goes the whole way up to five year on the radial, and then I believe it's a lifetime warranty on uh, the, uh, the rims themselves. So, Amazing. It's a good, yeah, it's a good little warranty just built right in. 
Uh, over here, you already have pre hookup for solar. I'll have to double check to see if it has the solar panel on it. Um, I would assume that it does, but you know what happens when they, when you assume. Um, and then of course you got your Asdell, and then it does, this one does have the cold weather package. So if you do go out west or up north, you're good to go. Um, oh, okay. So it has the bike rack for the front. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Voila, that easy. Got it. All right, cool. Now join us as we go inside. Ooh, nice and cool. So, uh, the first thing I noticed when I walked in is all of the bright colors and the really good use of space. Uh, we can turn this down actually. It's nice. So, uh, behind you is where the queen size bed is, which is uh, really spacious. You got extra storage underneath. Um, you also have this giant inverter that they placed over here, uh, cup holders. Uh, outlets, which is cool because you can have an outlet for each. You can put your phones right there. Um, I don't know if you can access the storage from here. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but you you could if you wanted to. There's just some screws on either side. You can take that out. Um, you got a good size TV. You got plenty of storage up here uh, for. Oh, whatever. I like the hidden hinges that keep it up for you. Right. That's nice. Yeah. It's a good touch. Yeah. Um, Holding yeah. them up or having your hand whacked is no fun. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it's not. Uh, it hurts. Uh, you got a good dinette, um, and these are mobile too, which is kind of cool. So you can move them out of the way, um, and they're also uh, storage in here as well. Storage ottoman bench. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I might not try to humiliate myself, but this does go down pretty simple most of the time. You there did it. Goes. Nailed it. Normally I fight with these things. The techs always laugh at me because they're like, they're the simplest things to use. That's not for someone like me who likes to overcomplicate things. Yeah, it turns into a good size bed. And that is about a queen. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Um, so you got more storage above there. You got a good size uh, kitchen. Um, Got a little bottle opener here right in the entrance. A key rack. That's pretty cool. Open the key racks are important. Yeah. Um, oh, the bunk beds with the teddy bear mattress. Those are nice. Uh, each of them have their own USB outlets. So, of course, you bring the kids' iPads, you know. A nice big window for the upper bunk, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, under bunk as well. Yeah. Uh, Good size refrigerator. Uh, it is 12 volt. It's already freezing cold, which is nice. Nice. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I like most about the 12 volts. Is they actually cool in a reasonable time. Uh, bathroom is good. This is where your uh, solar controller is. Um, what I like about the northern package or the cold weather package that they put on here, they actually have a heater for the fresh tank too. Um, I in my years of doing this haven't really noticed or paid attention i don't think many people do i see it for the gray and the black all the time but the but the fresh is rarely there ever so, yeah. never yeah no. it's like it just makes sense right um and of course you got your controllers uh you got your water pump and your water heater your lights and then your solar controller you got a nice little medicine cabinet a little prep area or you know not really a prep area you got decent storage in that medicine cabinet though. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and then you got some storage here too for your wardrobe and stuff like that. I mean, if you're camping, I mean, you really don't need to hang up too much stuff. I suppose jackets, but I wouldn't be wearing like formal stuff camping. Normally shorts and a t-shirt. Oh, that's just me. Heights touched on the shower. That's about the same as the last one. So if you've seen the channel before, I'm 5'8". So we like to do the heights test in the shower, especially for the taller guys. We get, you want to try it out? You're a little taller than I am. I'll give it a run. Yeah. Woo. Flip the camera, flip the script. Oh. Yeah. Big guy test. There Let's you go. Try it. You six foot, six one? 
I'm probably six one with the shoes. Yeah. There you go. I'm in it. Yeah. I can get wet and take a shower. There you go. No doubt. Yeah. See? <coughs> the, the tall guy test. We did it. Yeah. We did it. Passed. Heck yeah. Well, cool. Um, we'll wrap this baby up and bring it in for a landing. Uh, my name's Nate. You got Mr. Jeff behind the camera. We are Paradise RV here in sunny Charleston, South Carolina. Um, this is the new 2024 Novo 19.8. Uh, like and sub subscribe for more content. Uh, we try to post a new video every week and we've been doing pretty good at that. Um, and you can find all of our inventory at rvparadise.com. Text, email, tweet, uh, instant message. Uh, re even on signal. I don't know what our signal number is, but who knows. Alright, thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Thanks.